Hello friends, today we are going to know about a new Magento 2 module that is known as auction for Magento 2. Now by the help of this module, the admin can add auction for their product and the buyer can bid on that product. The admin will be able to update and delete the auction as well. The admin can set three type of auction that is automatic, reserve price and incremental auction for their products. And this auction module will work on three product types that is simple, virtual and downloadable products. Now coming to the installation of this particular module. After you have downloaded this module from the store, it will be in the zip format. So you have to unzip the module and then you will get the folder. So just click on the folder, you will get the SRC folder. You just click on the SRC folder, you will get the app folder. Now you have to upload the app folder into your Magento 2 root directory and then you're done with the installation part. Now let's go to the configuration of this particular module. Now again, we are in the configuration part. So you will go to store, configuration, and then you will see auction tab. Here you can see standard auction, increment auction, automatic auction, and email notification option. So you just have to enable and you have to set the options. For the standard auction, you can enable them you can display the current bid price, the bidder name, details, and what will be the winner message and the auction rule. Like for setting standard auction, the admin might need to set some procedure and rules, so you can just enter those rules here. For the increment auction type, just click here. Now how this work? Suppose you have set 0 to 100, the increment price is 10. So what will happen if any particular customer bid between 100 like from zero to 100, then it will be the amount will be added with the increment price. Like if it is 50, then it will be 60, 50 plus one, 10. Now again, if the second bidder, he bids between 101 to 200, like 150, so 20 will be added. So it will be 170. Likewise, you can add increment price range. From there, you can just add one more option and you can delete from here. And you can see from this box, and after you will see, you will get this message and then you have to close it. This is the automatic option. So you can just enable them. You can mention that change, customer can change their bid amount multiple times. You can use incremental price also. Then you can show the price, the name, details, and the outbid. What is outbid like if you have bidded a particular amount then you cannot bid that amount so you will get a message and what message is you can set from here so it will be displayed and here you can set the reserve auction and these are the email notification part and then you have to save the configuration now how you can add auction to any particular product just go to manage auction and you can see the auction product list over here so what I will do, I will delete this particular product from here. You can delete this product and again you can add the auction in this. So I will just delete this product, auction product. After deleting, I will go to add new auction. And from the drop down, I can select the product name. I will enter the starting price. The reserve price is the price which you have to enter for winning a particular bid. So it will be 90. So it is for a demo, so I will show you for one or two minutes, like the timeline will be one or two minutes. So it is 12.7, so it will be 12.9, or we can set it as 10. Number of days till winner can buy, two, what will be the minimum quantity to bid, one, maximum quantity, two, I have disabled now increment and automatic, I will show you how standard auction works. So we have applied auction on the brown leather, sorry, brown back, yeah. So I have this one, I will just click here, I will search this product. So I have created two customer, different customer. So you can see, I will click here. You can see time remaining two minutes. So you just note that the reserve price is 90, so 50. First customer will bid 50, so second one can bid 98 or 99. 
I will just refresh. You have to refresh to see. Yeah, I will enter AP. Now you can see again we have ample of time with us. Again, I will refresh so it will be displayed as 80, the current bid. Now I will 96, 95. And I will refresh here also. Yeah, again we have time so we can enter 96. You can also see after bidding you will get the success message that your bid has been saved successfully. So from here you can see the number of bidders. So here you can see total number of bid, what is the starting time, stop time, bidder name, their amount and the timestamp. So now we can just refresh it and we will see who wins this bid. Yeah, we have little time only so we can just wait. Just few more seconds to go. The winner will get the message on the product page only. Now it will automatically. Yeah, bidding has been done for this product. It is for the customer who has lost this bid. And for the winner, you can see winner message. Now you can get it at 96. So you will see by with 96. So this is all about the standard option. Now I will show you increment auction. So again, I will select that particular product. The starting price will be this and this will be 300. So now that's time it is 1211. Yeah. It is three the quantity maximum and enable. And now we will save it. Now I will search here. Yeah. And I will search for this customer also. So I have created two different customer. Yeah. Now you can see the bid amount. So I will enter 60. So it will be added at 70. Now here I will add 150. So it will be added 150 plus 20. That is 170. So again, I will just refresh and you can see the current bit with just 170. Again, I will add 250. So it is between 200 and 300. So 30 will be added. I will just refresh here. So it is 280. Again, I will add 320 and I will place. So it is coming between 300 and 1000. So 40 will be added. So you can see. Now here I will just refresh this particular product page again. So I will just wait for one minute and then I will show you. So just leave, just wait for one minute. Now it's 20 seconds remaining. So now we will just wait. Now we will see who is the winner and the other person can buy the product. Yeah, see this is the winner. You can get it in 320 and this 
for this bidding has been done. So you have lost the bid, but if you have selected bid it, buy it now and auction product both, so you can buy it with the set price and the winner can buy it with 320. Now we will set the auction for the automatic. I will set the auction for the automatic. So I will just delete this existing product and I will add from here. I will select again the same product and its price will be 300. I will set the time. Okay, I have to select the data as well. Yeah. And I will enable this automatic option and I will save. Now, I will just select the same product again. Yeah, this is the product. So now you will get this checkbox place bid as automatic. So 20 it will be, I will place 60. So you will get this message, your auto bid amount. And I have chosen that I will not display my current bid, so it won't be displayed on other seller's product page. I'm sorry, customer's seller. So I will bid, if I will bid 60, then let's see what happens. Okay, it is being saved. Now I will place 250 here. I will place 300 here. Now this is my John Doe, the customer who has placed 300. I will place 320. Peter will place 320. Now both the customer will not see the price which they have bid. So now we will just wait for the. So let's wait. Now see you can see the time has passed. So you can see the current bid that is 330. So he can buy with 330. So this is all about this particular auction module. You can see you can click here. And you can see the auto bid details from here. And bid list. Like for this, we have only enabled automatic auction. So, so this is all about this particular module. For the rest inquiry, if you have, you can just mail us at support at Thank you.